You touched on this a little bit. Training camp battles. I know it's early. We're still going to get into them. <laughs> what, what do you view as, as some of the things that will grab the headlines in Brown's training camp? And, and I, there's certain to be a lot of them because this roster has been upgraded significantly. Yeah, and uh, it's crazy we're not talking about quarterback, right? <laughs> yeah. We know who the starting quarterback's going to be. It's been forever since we've been able to say that. But, uh, you know, right guard is the big one. Austin Corbett probably going to get the first shot. But, you know, Kyle Kalis is there. Eric Cush is there. Drew Forbes said this week that he's kind of settled in as, as a guard. So maybe he'll get into the mix as camp goes on. Lyle Linebacker is another one to keep an eye on. Right now it's Christian Kirksey, Joe Schobert, Adarius Taylor, but I think Sione Takitaki and Mac Wilson are, gonna, are going to have something to say about that battle as training camp wears on. And then at receiver, I kind of mentioned this. Obviously Odell is set, Jarvis Landry is set, Antonio Callaway and Rashard Higgins, but who's going to be the fifth receiver or the sixth receiver? Derek Willies. Uh, there's uh, Dorian Baker is a guy that could maybe make a run there. Ishmael Hyman had a really nice spring. So who's going to make plays at those positions and be those extra wide receivers? We had the opportunity to hear from, you know, the rookies. Uh, they were out at a, uh, a youth camp. Is there anybody that, that you see, and I think you, you touched on a little bit with those linebackers, anybody that could potentially jump in there and grab a starting spot? Yeah, I mean, the linebackers are really where you start. And the thing is, Greedy Williams has, has really had a quick ascent. He's working mm -hmm. with the ones now, too. But the linebackers are really what you want to keep an eye on. Um, and, and I mentioned Drew Forbes, too. I am curious. When the pads go on, if he's really good, you know, the Browns have sort of wanted to slow play it with him. But the bottom line is this is the NFL. So you can't really slow play it with guys. If he's really good and is, is better than Austin Corbin, is better than these other guys, maybe they give him a shot at guard. I don't think we're, we're quite there yet, but you just never know when those pads go on. Is there anybody of the rookies that you're really anxious to see in the pads in a setting? Uh, the linebackers. Yeah, I, I mean, we keep talking about the linebackers. I hate to go back to them again, but that's really it mm -hmm. because Sione Takitaki is known for playing. Everybody says he plays with his hair on fire, and, and he's a guy that hits. So you want to see that, and you can't see that until the pads go on. Same with Mac Wilson. Another guy I'm curious about, and I don't know when he's going to be ready, is uh, their last pick, Donnie Lewis. He's, a, he's kind of a tall corner, a lengthy corner. John Dorsey took a shot on a guy like that last year, and they ended up cutting him. But I'm curious about Donnie Lewis, if maybe he can work himself into that corner rotation. You know, the, the, Mac Wilson is a guy that's really intriguing. You, you, you hear about, well, he he's... The reason he fell to the fifth round is X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. technical things. But when you watched an Alabama game, he's a guy that was <laughs> there making plays, and, and he's coached by Nick Saban, who, by all accounts, coaches guys in college to be NFL players better than anybody. And he's a guy that was making plays for Alabama. Yeah, and you know what? We can talk ourselves X's and O's. We can talk in circles, yeah. right? And yes, that stuff matters. That stuff's important. Yep. This is the NFL now. This is the best of the best. Your technique, all that stuff has to be sound. But the reality is... Can you make plays? And even if you're a guy that can make a play on third downs only, you know, a team can find a role for you. And, and that's what you want out of, guy, out of a guy like Mac Wilson. Ultimately, you'd like him to be a starting linebacker. But if he can contribute even in just small stretches, sort of like Jannard Avery did last year and some other guys have done, that's a valuable piece to have. 